I appreciate you taking time with me today. I'm going to go over Odoo ERP and get you some insight into what it does, where it's from, how it started, and really take a look at what it can offer your business. Um, it really is an all-in-one ERP solution, very cost-effective, and I think that you're really going to like it. So before we begin, please humor me with a little trip down memory lane. If your knees pop when you go upstairs or you know the theme song to Zoobly Zoo, you will remember this memory trip. If you answered no to either of those, <laughs> then you might be learning something today. Let's go back to 1981, okay? That's when IBM put out their at-home computer, and it came with VisiCalc, which was basically a spreadsheet. It was the Excel of 1981. Excel did not come back out until much later, <laughs> so VisiCalc was your spreadsheets. It also came with Atari word processor, and yes, Atari actually did make computer programming, not just Donkey Kong and Centipede, which also were released in 1981, but there was no internet yet. Internet did not come out until 1983, and honestly, most people didn't even know that was a thing until 1992 when AOL came out. There was no internet. When you wanted something for your home PC, you took yourself down to the local Circuit City. Um, you walked in, and there was a whole wall of computer programming. You had a box. You would pick up the box, completely sealed, kind of like ink would come today. You can't see what's in the box. It tells you there's a floppy disk in the program itself, gives you some information on the back. And if you were anything like me, you shook the box to see what comes in the box. You always wanted a box that was a little heavier, had a little bit more than just the floppy disk, because that means it came with a book. Books were very important because there was no internet, there was no YouTube. You were all just learning about what a computer could do, what the programming was. It was very exciting. A lot of new innovation coming out. But a lot of the words on the box made no sense. It was all Latin. It was computer speak. We just got this computer. We have no idea. Computers weren't there before. We're learning everything new. So you really relied on the people at Service Merchandise or Circuit City who were selling you this program and their knowledge. Have they used this program? Also, the shake of the box. Did it come with a book? So fast forward, it was kind of skimpy on financial software availability. You had some quick in, in the late 90s. But in 2005, a gentleman named Fabian Pink Airs. I always say his name wrong. Uh, Pink Airs. He came out with a system called Tiny ERP. That was one of the first ERPs to really gain some footing. In 2007, he changed the name to Open ERP, which really highlighted the open sourcing of the software itself. In 2014, he changed the name to Odoo. And in October of 2022, he released that all of the applications and the functionality within Odoo would be included in the one call subscription. Fabian is still the acting CEO of Odoo. The software itself is absolutely amazing. I promise I'm going to let you see it. It has a ton of functionality and a very small price. So the one thing that I want you to know is their mission statement, okay? Because this is this is key. This is important. This is what has caused them to shake up the market in financial software. Their mission is to provide software that is intuitive, fully featured, tightly integrated, effortless to upgrade, all while running smoothly for every business and every user, and doing so with cost effectiveness. And I, I don't know if you would want any other mission statement from your financial software. I'm still <laughs> kind of flabbergasted at what you're getting for the price. And again, it, it can be tailored to any and every business because of the functionality. And you're like, what are you talking about? Okay, I know, I know. I get excited with memory lane trip. You know me, I love to talk anyway and get really excited. So let me share my screen and you can take a look at what this looks like and what it does for you. Welcome to Odoo ERP. Very exciting guys. First off, this is an online SaaS solution. Okay, you do have the ability to install it on premise. You also have the ability to create a desktop application if you so choose. You'll see I have one open here in the bottom. That's my little icon. 
It is all this functionality that you're seeing. These are applications kind of like you would have on a tablet. You do not have to use all of the functionality, but it is here and it is included in your subscription cost, which don't panic. It's you won't know it's included because of the cost. Like you're going to think, well, wait a minute. <laughs> that can't be right. It is. Like I said, I'm still flabbergasted myself. This is a demo environment. You'll see these applications showing here. Don't feel overwhelmed. You can, but you normally wouldn't use every single one of these applications. If you need to, they're there, okay? They're included in the cost. You're not paying individually for each one of these like you do with other softwares. This is all built in. To add applications to this front window, you can take a look here on the side. This is what they call the Kanban view. So you can see the different types of applications. But if you switch in this little corner here, it shows you list view. On the list view, you can see what applications have been installed in your ERP platform. And then the ones not installed are going to show up in blue showing not installed. It's very easy. Let's say we wanted to go in and hit FedEx shipping, add it in. We simply click on FedEx shipping and click on activate. And that will populate it on our dashboard and put it into use. Now, they've broken these applications out into category to industry. So if you click on industries, it gives you some industry specific ones that might be best for you. Or you can just go through the categories themselves here on the side. Additionally, you can search here at the top and just key in what you're looking for. So let's say we're looking for e-commerce. And when we search for that module, there's the e-commerce module that we could add on. It's actually currently installed, but we could add it on if it had not been. Now, let's dive into the categories themselves. If you are wanting to do sales, which we all do sales, right? Your basic sales module, restaurant specific, your CRM, point of sale, Sign is your signature for quotations. If you handle subscriptions, where you manage your contact, your customers and vendors, your companies, all of that is in contact. If you do rentals, if you need to put in an Amazon or Shopee connector, those integrate as well. Your service applications will handle projects, timesheets, help desk. So if you have tickets that you offer for your customers, they do have access to the portal to open up tickets and view tickets, field service manager and appointment scheduling, your accounting software for invoice and accounting, inventory software. This is where it gets a little deeper, right? Tons and tons of inventory functionality. If inventory is a need for you, Odoo does it best. Reach out to me. It's all included in the software cost. You have the ability to do manufacturing, your basic inventory, I keep saying basic. I don't mean that in functionality. It's what you would normally expect from inventory, but it goes deeper than that. I need to stop saying basic. You get the point. Purchasing your shipping integrations. If you handle repairs, there's a repair module, barcode scanning, a whole bucket of shipping. Manufacturing. So if you manufacture your items, they do have a manufacturing model. Maintenance, quality check, and product lifecycle management. Lot numbers, serial numbers. All of that can be handled as well. It does come with its own website capability. So you can build out your own website and create your own e-commerce site. Has e-learning, live chat, and online jobs. Marketing, your email marketing, your WhatsApp messaging, events, social marketing, surveys. These are all different types of marketing modules to better tailor and better report on what you're doing, what you can do, and offer what services you're offering to your customers. Human resources is going to be a lot of use for your internal team management, tracking your expenses, PTO and time off. It does have a module for recruiting. So if you're looking to be recruiting employees and you're paying for that externally, this is now going to be something that you can move over under Odoo. Your employee tracker, front desk, planning, appraisals, handling of fleets, approvals, employee referrals, attendance, payroll, and employee contracts. So again, all your human resources that you could possibly need. These are really cool to dive into. Productivity, what you need just internally, your documents, data recycling, your knowledge base. So if you're currently paying for an outside online drive of some sort that does your knowledge for new hires or internal trainings, you can now create those within Odoo. Meeting rooms for teams and customers discusses like the chatter and chat that you have. You can you'll see some of that when we go forward. Calendars, 
your to do's. And lastly, we have customization and that's studio. So studio comes with Odoo SH or on prem. This is what helps you to customize this for your own business. If you need to make changes to certain software functionality and really dig into it. It doesn't come on Odoo online. You would need to have the um, SH or on prem more stuff that we can discuss if you're interested. Now, back to the front here. So let's take a look at what some of these applications do. I'm going to do a very top level coverage of these. If you're interested in seeing them more in depth, I do plan to do videos on each application and kind of build out a playbook so that you can see it in action. But I just wanna to touch on some, you're gonna see more than others. So first off, if you don't like the way that it looks out the gate, you can move some of these around. You just click on them, hover, and drag it over to where you need it to be. If you're having trouble recognizing the icons right away, if you just start keying in what you're looking for, it will give you the options and pull it up to the front. So let's take a look at the CRM. Odoo is set up through the functionality. It's going to look similar. Each one of those applications does not look differently. They're all laid out similarly for easy flow and process and you know less of a learning curve when you're moving over to the software. This is a basic CRM view. When you dive into them, you can see more information about each opportunity. You do have your search bar here at the top, so you can search for whatever opportunity you're looking for. You'll see that this is my pipeline. I'm this gentleman here. And so all of these opportunities are assigned to me. If I wanted to see every opportunity, I could just change that filter and they all come up. Additionally, if you click in the search bar, you can search by keying in the opportunity or contact information you're looking for, or you can go through and buy your filters, groups, and you can have favorite searches as well. This is again, the Kanban view. You do have the option to do list view. You can look at your opportunities based on a calendar, more of a, a grid as to some basic reporting. You can drive in and change your measures, your days to assign, days to close. You can insert it into a spreadsheet. You have additional reporting features here as well, your forecast, pipeline, leads, and activities, and then they can all be customized just by your filters here at the top. Now, when you're working on an opportunity, very cool thing is you can go in and see extra information. This dives into the contact information, the campaign, where it was sourced from, the contact name that is assigned to it. And then you have here on the side is what we call the chatter. So you can send a message. Um, for example, I'll send an email to our contact Henry Jordan and just say, hello, Henry, when would you be available? And then when I send this, what's really interesting is that you have now on followers, Henry Jordan is following. So when you log activities here and you say, okay, I'm gonna schedule a call on this date with myself, Mitchell, the admin, and I schedule that, a notification would go to Mitchell as well. Now you can turn that on and off. You do not have to have that functionality, but now that task appears outside of my CRM in my daily appointments and calendar. So this is all fully integrated. Same thing happens with, you do have the point of sale where you can do your actual sales processes. Again, this looks very similar in the layout to the CRM that flows across sections, all functionality and applications. This little button here at the top, this is your chat. This is where you will see all the updates from Odoo itself. So you have your Odoo bot and you have information about steps and things you have done previously. If there's something that you need to address high level, this pops up here. You do have your internal chats and channels. So when we click on channels, this is kind of like Teams Messenger. You can tag people and send messages directly through channels or groups or one-on-one. -on -one. You also have the ability to send um, a chatter within some of the modules and tag your teammates. So if you need some assistance, um, you can send a message to internal team members. So in this case, I'm gonna send it to Mark Demo. He's one of our employees here and say, can you please follow up with Devis regarding the quote? So when I send this, it will automatically send a message to Mark Demo. He will see a message there that indicates what messages have been sent to him for follow up. 
Another thing that's really important is when you are working through setting up your employees, you do have the ability for employees to be limited on what functionality they will have access to. If you have somebody who is doing sales, but they don't necessarily need to be in your timesheets, you can lock all of these applications or give limited availability to your employees through the settings. So again, I get really excited and I know that about myself. So I could go on and on about all these applications and dive into each and every one of them. And I will in future videos. I just want you to see the software, see kind of what it can do and get a little peek at it. But I will start pulling back the curtain and showing you each individual application on future videos. So if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. And then, of course, if you have any questions or you want to meet with me personally to go over Odoo, I will be happy to do so. All right. Well, thank you guys again so much. My contact information is going to be listed in a link below. So if you'd like to call and discuss Odoo and how it can help your business, or if you just want to call me and tell me how the Zoobly Zoo theme song has always been in your nightmares and you don't appreciate me bringing it up, I'd be happy to discuss that well. It haunts me too. So I wish you all well and have a great rest of your day. I look forward to working with you.